Previously, on the Wayfinders Guild. You know that only the dead know the end of war. Before he walks out the door, um, Maring would go, Hey, friend! Can I get your name? I'm Maring. The Raven. So, um, while I'm serving the soup and doing whatever they're asking, whatever else they're asking me to do, um, can I, um, I would like to start singing a song. Ar- Arlen, Arlen. This is not, this is not the only time you've walked off suddenly. What's going on? There, there is something that is uh, not right in that, di- in that direction. It is, um, <sighs> more dead. You all know that it's a lost start to be at the last laugh when you let rip a big fart. And Marin goes. <laughs> all the kids just like. Perfect. Oh, perfect. There is a feeling that something is, something has, something has stirred beneath the church of Lathander, uh, north of here. Uh, and I fear that as we perhaps get closer, this unnatural phenomenon of which you have discussed too with these mists, as it were, this creeping fog, this fog. I hope that the two are not connected. Scuffles (laughs) through her bag. Do I have ginger? Do you? Sure. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not gonna be a dick about it. it. <laughs> thank you, thank for you. Ginger. <laughs> Roll for ginger. The water seeps through the mud into your boots as you exit a little bit out the edge of town along the road north- northward, choked by trees to either side and their canopies above, blocking most of what little sunlight penetrates the clouds, but doing little to ease the rain. An eerie quiet hangs over the woods here. You can't shake the feeling of being watched. to the church passes through a graveyard in order to get there. With the sun now in late afternoon coming down into the evening hours, you're welcome to do anything to prepare before you go on your investigation. That includes spells or the like. While we're outside of the church, like, is there like a perimeter of trees that surround it? Uh, it, it's, like it's, it's in a clearing. Because it's like plenty of trees and l- no life to them, though. Uh, it's kind of just like this spot. You know, it's it's very much the stereotypical like creepy church on the hill on the outside of town, um, and uh, the further, like away from it from the town as desolate as it already has been it just feels more and more lifeless as you get as as you finally have reached that destination y'all hear that no yes exactly hold on a sec i want to check something out be right back I spread my wings and I take off Uh, and just flying up in the air I stay outside of the perimeter of the circle of like where the clearing is and I'm just like 
yawing and like turning a little bit to the left and just circling at least once the area where the church is just to see it from a 360 point of view. Give me a perception check. Let's roll this die. Yeah, he does that a lot. Marin whispers to Luna. Uh, that is, is sudden. math, math, math. It's fast. Is, it's just... is this the first time that most of us would have seen him fly? Well, you were sleeping the whole time. Oh, the, um, <laughs> the during the time in the alleyway where he backflipped onto the uh, right. This, this but would that have been like flying? Hunting. Yeah. No, that would have been me using him to jump. This is me like full wingspan out, mm-hmm. like actually yeah, flying. Like, real, like, you know. Uh, that is a right. 14 plus 5 for 19. It's odd because as you go up, you see what feels just to be like cloudy skies above you. But once you reach a point above the trees, it seems as though this canopy of fog is layering over the trees and they're only poking out from the tops. So you can see there that it extends pretty far, but heavily condensed over the church and spreads out and dissipates more towards the town lighter. And then swooping back in, though, and looking up, it just seems like a cloudy sky. So, like, it, what I guess what I would imagine it to be weird is like, illusion. Like, like, it's just, it's, it's off putting. So, it's. Like, I didn't go through mist, but I see it below. And then it's, it's, it's very off putting. So, so what you're saying is like. I would have, I think, I thought I would have flown through fog. Right. But when I look down from the area where the fog was, it's like clear. Yeah. But then as soon as I come down under the bubble, it's like I have the hurricane situation. Like I see. I kind of like. Normal clouds. I kind of like unnervingly land. And I go, well. Something ain't right. What did you see? See, I'll try to be a little bit more detailed there. Owaka, you actually coming down from the mists into back, you land 20 feet further ahead than where you actually took off from. And now Owaka is 20 feet ahead of you in the path of um, this, this graveyard path that is between you and the church right now. So I misjudge my landing. Oh, absolutely. I like land and I, before I say anything, I look up and see that they're there and I kind of like look over my shoulder towards the, the church. Do I get like a general feeling of like, like that, like the, that camera trick where the thing in the center you states, we're going into the, the Rami mode. Vertigo yeah. effect. <laughs> yeah. Vertigo effect. Do I get you, that kind of feeling? You hear a squelching of mud from beside you and a horrific stench of rot assaults your senses. As you glance over, you see a form rising from the mud beside a gravestone. The eyes and mouth are gaping sockets illuminated from within the skull by a deep red fiery glow. A rotted, mangled corpse rises onto its feet, the bones of its ribs showing through tattered scraps of clothing with the flesh on its limbs seemingly to slowly slaw off the bone. Only then you notice that it isn't alone. As the rest of you see, five others have now surrounded all of you and lurch towards you. I need everyone to roll initiative. Okay, so that's the second uh, of three attacks. It's going to do its... Marcus left Next the screen. Claw attack. Me. Yep, that's much quicker. But that's just a 12. Don't think that hits on Finn. Alright, I'm just making sure it's still fun. Uh, does a 12 uh, hit you? Oh, yes, it does. Oh, no, it does not. Sorry, a 12 does not. I'm saying a 12? 
<laughs> that oh. doesn't even hit that's me. That's a that's a paper right. pallet. <laughs> I'd be worried about that. <laughs> yeah, that so that's basically bite on the shoulder, attack with the, its clawed hands, but it misses with the second one. Sweet. Zombie number two. Gonna go up to you, Mary. Yeah, second. it is. A, uh, unnatural 20 for the bite. You're going to take four points <laughs> of piercing damage. Yeah. For its first claw attack, that's another unnatural 20. I rolled two 17s. <laughs> She's fine. I love it. Uh, you're going to take seven points of slashing damage. That's 11. All right. Yeah. That's a 12. That does not hit, sir. So again, two out of three. Ain't bad. Ain't bad. No, it's still pretty bad. <laughs> a lot of You've got now this gentleman up in your face. <laughs> and again, I'm going to take it. Nine. Misses. D- misses. Seven. That misses. Misses. That's a nat one. That misses all three oh. attacks. Just, <laughs> as you're like, <laughs> <laughs> now it's your turn. I look this boy straight in the face and I go, "Oh, you sorry son of a bitch!" And I take out the the revolver and I shoot him twice because I can attack twice now. Nice. So here's that first shot. A 22 to hit. 22 hits. Okay, so the damage on that would be... Uh, my dice are rolling slow. 11 piercing damage. Yeah, the dice are fine. All right, uh, 11 oh. piercing damage. Great. It's rolling slow for me. And then the second shot... I think that'll probably hit two. That's a dirty 20. Yep, that hits. That's eight damage. Eight damage. Uh, so a combined 16 points. No, I'm uh, sorry. Uh, 11 plus eight. 19 points. Yes. 19 points. Fantastic. All right. Uh, anything else? It's. Uh, is it still looking ragged? No. You. You. Uh, you, you know what? Um, I'm gonna roll a d20, and we're gonna find something fun. You sever off one of its legs. Cute. <laughs> okay, so now it's like it's like hopping around or hobbling. Yep. You're like, okay. Do I waste my action surge now? <laughs> I would wait. <laughs> I would wait. So I am going to. I I took those two shots. Do I have two sessions? Just double check. Just wait. nope. I am going to <laughs> aim for the limbs, <laughs> and I just yeah. eva- evaporate the one kneecap and part of the shoulder off of this thing. Would it be able to attack me if it's hobbling around? Like, does it get a reaction if I move away? I will let you know. <laughs> cool. I, I, I just stay there. Stay tuned. <laughs> Remember when I said that the zombie can do something fun? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> I'll just I'll just I'll just stay there. <laughs> okay. Since I have like hobby. Just so you know, its speed has reduced significantly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As it's only on one leg. <laughs> uh alright, so. Harlan, you hear it groaning up and coming charging right at you. I'm going to start attacking. For the bite. 22. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take yeah. Love it. Three points of piercing damage. It's going to go for its first claw. It's only a six. That misses. Second claw attack. It's an 11. That misses. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, going to. Oh, her next zombie in the mission. So it's going to go to. Also, Luna. Well. No. 
One on one zombie yes. action. <laughs> Roll the <four. laughs> No. You guys realize that all you have to do is say, no, and then I don't have to attack you. Yeah. Um, I say delete it. <laughs> Control. Delete it. <laughs> uh, that is a 12. Uh, that doesn't hit. I'm gonna go for its first claw. 12 again. Nope. Second claw attack. Nine. Nope. Ooh. Nothing. <laughs> you we got, got lucky. Nothing. It's two that whiffed. Get, this one's right, get slick. Wrecked. He's Mary, a slippery one. Now your turn. <laughs> and you are on deck. Yeah. Um, Maring is going to bonus action uh, bunny hop. Uh, I call it bunny hop, but it's really <laughs> um, She's going to jump 15 feet because now it's 15, not 10. Nice. About nice. 5, 10, 15, right behind this little wall here. Um, and then she's going to shoot off two arrows. At this one. one. At this one. The one that bit me. I'm trying to click it. Is there you it go. Highlight? There we go. At that one. Let's get it. Zombie one, as it's labeled. <laughs> Zombie. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. Yes. Oh, I'm pretty sure that hits. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. No, it um, has armor. <laughs> I'm going to roll my second attack to see if that other one hits real quick. Okay. Oh, that was almost an 18. Um, but it might still hit. Does that 13 hit? Yes. Sweet. I'm going to oh, roll. Please, sorry. Here. Like there's just one zombie with like football pads on. Like... <laughs> I'm just going to still roll this damn damn. What, are guys. we like... Blood ball? What is it? Blood ball? He's gone. We. That's max damage on that first one. At that first hit. Okay. And. <laughs> All right. So I rolled that first hit. That's max damage for eleven piercing. Great. I'm um, gonna roll that second hit. Oh, that's not bad. Um, that's 9 damage, so all together that's 20 piercing damage and I would like to try and aim for the eye sockets. Wonderful. Let's see if that happens. So there's just two hackers. <laughs> ah! Wah! Wah! So, <laughs> it's zombie. This time, you, uh, with, two, with those fired arrows, uh, you are able to connect both of them with, uh, the, with the left arm which then becomes, falls off its body. And Maring is like, like kind of perched behind the wall with her, just kind of crouching, kind of. <laughs> and that's in my turn. Cool. Um. Zombie five. Um, oh no, it's our uh, That is no. Boom. Oh, shit. Yep. Okay. Mighty almighty spider! <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna pull out my great sword and uh, I'm gonna take a swing. Alright. Nice and simple. 22 to hit? Yes. Yes. For 10 damage. Okay. And my second attack. That would be 25 to hit. Yes, that is. And I re-roll the twos there. Cool. Because of uh, the great weapon. God, I love the great weapon master. Not, not master. I'm not that Oh yeah, not yet, master. But... Right. Alright, so same anyway. So 10. Alright, cool. So, let's find out. So, um, you, uh, uh, which leg do you want off, the left or the right? Uh, let's go right. Let's make sure you can't drive a car. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. That could be the thing. But he's like, you know, a zombie can do something special. <laughs> zombie clutches his license. <laughs> <laughs> anything else you'd like to do? Uh, no, I think I'm good for it. Its special ability is it can drive a stick on a Mazda. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Mods Wizard Cannon now. <laughs> Please pause. Ah, yes, the Great Wizard Pause. 
<laughs> the artificer that created the mechanical horseless wagon. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Why did I hit the door? Funny thing about it is that if there was such a thing as the gremlin there, they would explode upon impact just by nature. <laughs> All right, Andy. All right. Um, so Andy is going to go. Um, let's form a team. Two things. Um, <laughs> I'm going to move up here, and I am um, going to raise both my arms. And um, you're going to see like this inky oil slick blackness come out of my hands. And I'm going to cast um, Arms of the Jar on uh, the two that are within 10 feet of me at this point. Um, so the one in front of Arlen and the one in front of Luna. And then they need to make a strength saving throw. You see like tendrils pop out and like start to clutch at them. And a three. All right, they both fail. So they take necrotic damage. I'm assuming they don't. Um, uh, yes. Uh, well, here's the thing. Um, yeah. It will. It will be effective. Mm-hmm. So, how many points? You can shoot it. All right. Yeah. It's just it's two, 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 two. And if it ever. Comes, it's only six. You can always use the bottom dice too if you want to use those instead. That's done. So what was it? It's just um, six. Okay. I don't know for some reason I didn't. Um, yeah, uh, but this but left but left right arm. Left or right arm? Um, are they wielding? No, they're not wielding anything. Um, right, I guess. All right. Great. Um, um, but the actual thing is not the damage. It's that they can't take reactions until the next turn. Okay. Cool. So they can't stop it. Gotcha. All right, it is now zombie five. Zombie number uh, three, according to this listing. Oh. <laughs> uh, it is going to hop over this gravestone and go and attack Finn. Trip and eat it. Look at the freaking tables. Actually, just because for the sake of it, I'm going to see if it actually does hop over the gravestone. Well. <laughs> You know what? With a minus two to to their decks, that's not bad. <laughs> no. So it, I, it, it gets, I tried. Takes I some tried. Time. It gets there. I tried. Uh, <laughs> I wanted it to be like. <laughs> 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 uh, so a nine does not hit. <laughs> Come on, Larry. Seventeen. <laughs> that does hit. Okay. And then. So only one of these is going to hit you. Sweet. Three points of slashing damage. Now she's. Now she's indeed. Arlen. <laughs> now your turn. And then Finn, you're on deck. Uh, excuse me. Uh, uh, no. Uh, 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 Luna. Wait. Luna's not before me. Nope. They're not. No. You should be. No, I'm. I'm. La- I oh rolled no! A sorry, one. I apologize. You're right. Oh, where's your drinks? <laughs> Uh, I'll catch up after. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't drink ketchup. It's not like this. Mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's the end of the no class. joke. My grandmother on my mother's side practically drank ketchup. Like, she smothered all the food in it. So. Yeah, that's a lot of vinegar. You need a little, a little potato with that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so she is, and I believe all of them are still within her. Range, she is going to do channel divinity, turn on dead, um, so they all make a wisdom saving throw. Um, right. The DC is 13. Alright. They have uh, plus zero to their wisdom saving throw modifier, so this will be fun. We'll do this be. five times. That's a nat one, that failed. <laughs> That's a two, that failed. That's a 15. That's a 9. That's a 5. And the last one. That's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 
So all but the one by Awaka. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> if their ch- if their challenge rating is one half or lower, they disappear. They're done. Ah. Mm-hmm. Cool. Destroy undead. So because I have that now. <laughs> so the, the, they all disappear. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? <laughs> I, I thought you wanted. Sleep? Oh, I got this one. I thought you no. still wanted to punch something. All of them uh, are dead. Are, are gone, one, rather. And this one gets a turn. <laughs> uh, but it is now Luna's turn. Okay. Um. So. Let's see. I have 40 feet of movement now, right? Yes. By so, the way, Kev, if you're still on, thank you for sticking around. <laughs> you go here. For exactly what is still recording on whose end, but I know I've got the Zoom call still going, so that's good. All right, so I'm over there, um, and I'm going to Breath of the Dragon, Cone, okay. Lightning, please. All right. Five. <laughs> cool. So oh. that's some... Yep. <laughs> Um, so I'm, I have a bonus action. Okay. I'm going to go for an unarmed strike. Let you know that, um, the right arm has now fallen off its body. Okay. Um, so yeah, so unarmed one strike. Arm, one arm. <laughs> so I feel like yeah. this is pertinent to the cool thing they can do. I'm not dead! <laughs> All right. I'm not dead. Feel happy. <laughs> All right. So uh, I did nothing. <laughs> well, now it has no. Tis but a scratch. <laughs> <laughs> Just flesh wound. You'll see. Yeah, I guess we will. How about you? Bite your legs off. The uh, the zombie in front of you, Awaka, is going to attack you. Got some fancy move to bring his body back and going to attack you. Fifteen to bite you. That is my armor class. I'm gonna take five points of piercing damage. With its good arm, a twelve does not hit. And a nat twenty for twenty-three. Uh, that does hit. I was gonna say a third. That one arm. Hit. Um, yeah, wait. Doesn't he have one arm? Thanks. Three attacks, so. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Now, here's the other thing. Yikes. Arm <laughs> on the other side of it is going to attack you. It shares the initiative. The arm, <laughs> the arm shares the initiative? Like, it's arm that's not there? Severed arm is now crawling oh. towards you. I oh. told you it was pertinent. So is it, <laughs> is, it, is it attacking me still? Yeah, it's gonna attempt to claw attack you. Wait, you didn't give me the da- you, did, you, you didn't give me the damage from the. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, so that's four, so that's eight points. Now it's going to try and nine. Nine doesn't. And you, it is at disadvantage because it is one arm. Hit. <laughs> <laughs> It makes a sound. It makes Wario Ow. sounds. <laughs> and, it's, so it's, uh, and then the um, the leg is now that is severed is going to <laughs> hobble up and try and like kick you again. Of course, it is. <laughs> of course, the only zombie that isn't vaporized is this one. Don't worry, it was a six. <laughs> <laughs> they all had this power. We know it. Uh, and now, Awaka, it is your turn. <laughs> all right, you gotta die. And just two shots with the revolver straight into its face. Okay. Here we go. First shot. Oh, that was almost a three. That would have been bad. 25 for the first yeah, shot. Five hits. And 18 for the second shot. Cool. Let me roll this damage. Ice. Four. Oh. Yes! Okay, that's 4 to 12, so 16 points of damage. All right. So, 
you have decapitated it, so it is now completely lifeless. <laughs> Unlifeless. What about the arm and leg? They're, as soon as the head explodes, the arm and the leg just flop. Uh, zombie land. Yeah. This episode is powered by Poddex. Poddex are unique interview questions and episode starting prompts in the palm of your hand. So whether you're a new podcaster or existing broadcaster looking to grow your audience and have more meaningful conversations, you're going to want to check out Poddex. Now, if you want to get 10% off your order right now, you can go to poddex.com and type in coupon code, what's the code? Yes, that's the code. Check out poddex.com. Take your podcast to the next level. What you can sense now is the uh, those were, by the way, um, if anyone wants to do an arcana check or uh, uh, a medicine check, even Ooh. I'll make a medicine, yeah, I'll make a medicine uh, check as I will, well. I will also take a medicine check while I reload my gun. So, uh, that's a dirty 20 arcana. Oh, wait, do we can we do it? Oh, we can do it off. Okay. That's a that's that's a that's a dirty ten. <laughs> that is a dirty twenty-three. Uh, I think tens are naughty effort. because they should be twenty. Those rolls, those were okay. So for the medicine checks, you understand that okay, um, even as zombies, undead pieces of body should not be continuing their life after they've been detached from the host body. Uh, with the um, who got who got the Arcana check? What'd you roll with that? Twenty. Uh, that is you recognize. Okay, that's an infernal type of magic for in order to remain alive. One can only deduce that these were then inter- infernal zombies. Hmm. So I'm pretty sure, like zombies are not supposed to be able to do that. Mm, no, I, nope. I mean, I I think the fact that uh, you are saying the word zombie, it's therein not. lies the issue. It's no, like these are like, infernal. but they're like infernal fire zombies. They pack a little magic bit of- zombies. Arlen casts with her furbog magic. Uh, she casts detect magic which is um, 30 foot radius on herself and it's concentration up to 10 minutes to see okay. if she senses anything. They also pack a little bit harder punch than normal ones do and I show like the two bite marks and the slash marks from the <laughs> uh, did, would you do you want some help? Uh, I, can, I can I can help I can if you got a little bit on you then nothing mm-hmm. too major. And she will kiss. Just make sure I didn't just double up on concentration shit. Cure wounds. First level. Okay. While that's happening, Maring is just kind of going to dust the zombie gunk because while it hit her, got Ooh, some sorry, like, buddy. gross skin on her. Um, and she's going to turn around and look at the structure that's in front of her. She's going to go, what is this? Uh, the first thing that catches you when you look at the church is the smell of smoke and sulfur. Wait, is that one the church or is it the, I was behind a little wall on a little sub place? Uh, that would be this place I'm double clicking. Wait, why'd the map move? Oh no. Because I'm, I'm focusing you onto that area. Oh, I see. Okay. Got it. Got it. And with the detect magic up, that smell kind of heightens even. <laughs> oh, man. For Arlen. Oh, sorry. 
But I mean, it's pretty gross for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's Not used funny. to it. <laughs> did you Man. roll cure, cure wounds I did. twice? I did. Yep. Oh, so like so I get that. 13 total. So yeah, three and then a 10. All right. I'm back to full. Sweet. Hey. Okay. Um, Thank you kindly. Mm-hmm. As I go. Definitely. And I put four bullets into the into the chamber and spin the mm-hmm. revolver chamber. Um, yeah, so the, the smell definitely doesn't bother Arlen. She's kind of used to it. Can she follow it anyway? Like, oh, yeah. As you follow it into the church. Mm-hmm. Um, Are you going to speed up to be right alongside of her? Wait a yeah. minute. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I like go up to her as well. You don't have yeah, to work your pieces here. It's fine. It, <laughs> mm-hmm. Cool. As you step over burned pieces of the front door and smashed church pews, looking around the interior soaked with rain, it is a ruined church to Lathander the Morning Lord. A trail of blood smears a trail of blood smears leads from the front door through the center of the pews, over the top of the smashed and scattered pieces of marble. It must have been at one point a statue of Lathander, past wooden doors to the left and right, and through a set of heavy metal doors inlaid with a golden sunset. Then the stench of rot hits you, and you see slumped between the pews several corpses. From this distance, all you can tell is that some seem charred and burned. Others are mangled and torn arms and legs missing, bones protruding, or entrails strewn across the rain-soaked floor. If you could all make an investigation check for me. Uh, me. (laughs) Gonna go with the big chicken die. Let's see what happens. Investigation. Hey, old Nat 20. And he's like retching in the corner. I think I rolled a natural one. Yeah, 31. My, uh, uh, got a 12. Okay, Andy, if you wouldn't mind then doing a uh, constitution saving throw. That's totally fair. We will see if this body horror episode. Yep, I. Yep, two. You lose it. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I rolled a dirty one, by the way. Yeah, yeah this is. This is gross even for your standards. Am I the only one that nine. didn't vomit? <laughs> Marin didn't vomit. I definitely didn't vomit, but uh, certainly but not she... stoked. Yeah, I was, I was distracted. Just... With a one, by the way. Mm. <laughs> your investigation. It, yeah, it's... Yeah. You are taken aback by the violence and the absolute distaste for any sort of semblance of even looking like they were trying to you know just just what they did to desecrate these bodies is more angering than just seeing dead people on the floor the bodies though you do notice for anyone who rolled I'd say above 10 Rolled a nat 20, by the way. Okay. 12. Nine. Bodies are burned to a crisp, or mm-hmm. mangled, shredded. We seem to be all facing towards the front door, Owaka, you notice, as if they were running away. None, however, look like they are in the garbs of a priest. The bodies that aren't burned, though, seem to have something moving under their skin. Don't go near the corpses. Roger. I say as yeah. I back. Like, it's. I'm guessing it would look like. To, yeah, it echoes. <laughs> like scarabs in the mummy. Mm. Well, as you take a look while you say that, you do see some maggots are poking out of the skin now. Okay, okay. so so it's like actual bugs and not like oh, anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not like oh, anything could... that would jump out of the skin and attack. These are rotting bodies. Ugh. <sighs> You okay, Andy? No, 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 I, um, no, no. Mm-mm. I, n- I note. Oh, I'm sorry. 
Uh, Luna's gonna take out their their herbalism kit and like try to get some like like mint for for Andy to, to just chew on a little bit. Oh, and and Arlen Arlen as well. Mm-hmm. Oh, as you, she takes you. that, she hmm. begins to chew on it and then approaches the bodies and takes out uh, an empty jar oh, uh, in the hopes to scoop up maggots. I okay. um, gross, but cool. <laughs> I, hey, gross. they have they're handy. They're handy. I, I, my hunch. Before I go and inspect, <laughs> since I since I inspected, I was going to inspect the corpses, but I noticed Andy is retching, so I walk over to her and I flip open a pouch and I hand her a piece of dried venison that I had cured along the trip, and I go, here, chew on this. Are you trust me? Are you sure? Mm-mm. No, 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 is opened up and you can see inside is just a simple uh, bed chamber. Um, on the door on the right, uh, the door looks charred and burned, but intact. Um, on the um, the golden sunset inlaid doors, uh, they are big, heavy iron doors that are in, in front. So it's like golden doors, open bed chamber, burnt doors. So after seeing that Andy doesn't want the, the jerky, I'm like, all right. And I go, and I just start chewing on it. As I walk over to um, Arlen, where she's like scooping the maggots up out of the corpse, I kind of take my knife out of its pull. As I holster the pistol, and then I take the knife out of its sheath, and I flip one of the bodies over to just look at them face on to like see any claw marks bite marks whatever kind of injuries may have befelled this person okay it's really hard to tell Uh, even by your standards of seeing a lot of different ways a person can die these bodies have been desecrated so hard that it's a miracle you can even identify them still as humanoid uh, Luna's Luna's going to go over to the broken statue and kind of just see if they can see what it's made out of and how how it can be put back together. And then it is uh, a shattered statue at this point. Okay. The thing that you can recognize is just the base of the feet and the remaining pieces of that are as intact as they can be of the godly visage on the fa- of the face of Lathander. However, upon looking at it, though, you do uh, you see that the door is open and you have a better view inside of the bedchamber, which is covered in dried blood spray with a broken stained glass window and its shattered bedside table. Um, guys, uh, mm. maybe we start in here. Maring will hop on over. I don't know. Pick a, pick a, pick a square foot. Any square foot. There's blood every fucking where. Well, we have to start somewhere, and together, we're not gonna split up. Is no. Mm, I vote not splitting up, please. Exactly. No. Is it's my detect hard. magic? In space amongst you, it would be. It. You can all be within five feet of each other within this like twenty by twenty room, basically. Okay. Is my I, detect magic picking anything up? Um, let me see. It is the same kind of um, the uh, necrotic magic that you are getting from the bodies of the zombies. Arlen, uh, do you have concentration to mend this statue? Mm, I, it'll take some time, but uh, we... I can definitely make improvements. 
There's a lot. It's pretty behind that, and uh, there's a lot of its pieces. I don't know that it is all here, but I can try. So you're going to be using um, mending? Yeah. Yeah. It's and not concentration, you so might. I should be good. You're basically able to get as many of the whole pieces that aren't dust at this point of mm-hmm. the marble that has crashed onto the ground. So it just gets up to about it's the knees of the statue, whereas the rest is just too disassembled to put any kind of reasonable semblance together. Mm-hmm. Can I determine how old this corpse is that I'm looking at? Give me a medicine check. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, actually, yeah, yeah, no, that would be medicine. Yeah, that's a fourteen. The blood is dried, but the rain has also mixed in into the damp of the uh, of just the dampness of the the flooring and through the roof. It's you're not quite sure if it's really fresh that just kind of got washed over and glazed onto the ground, or if it's been there and it's not moving because it can't be washed away. Well, the maggots, um, the maggots are pretty. Smell though so. of the door on the right is the thing that's really kind of breaking everyone's train of thought because of the charred uh, wood. It's still intact. And there is a... It, it does look to be still kind of bolted. Um, but uh, the one body that you did turn over, uh, they are incredibly drained and dried of their blood, it seems. Like, their body's still torn apart and shredded. But their faces are, like, concave almost. Does this one look like somebody from the... Uh, it certainly doesn't look like an upper-class citizen. So, just just to clarify, just so I'm not, like, RPing into a wrong direction here. Right. Um, that corpse, does it resemble one of the town folk, or is no, it I'm, one... I'm folk. It seems like it would be someone who would have gone to the soup kitchen. Okay. Okay, so but it wasn't someone it wasn't the that same we social status. Yeah, it wasn't yes. Like, okay. Because I thought okay. you meant like it what was I meant someone. It like I meant it uh, would have been in the company of. Yeah, we could have seen oh, man. Them by yeah, we five were minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, we've been I gone was... for five minutes. Why is someone here? <laughs> I was like, oh my god, they're making doppelgangers and sending them into the town. Mm-hmm. That's really? too much. Too well, much. Too much. <laughs> while this is going on, I'm going. Sorry, to, I'm still uh, throwing up. Bye. I'm going to activate my divine sense and see if I could uh, sense any sort of uh, fiend undead within sixty feet. Okay. Um. As you're looking around, uh, and you kind of get this um, this divinity sense uh, on the golden sunset inlaid doors, because most likely they are they have been blessed uh, as it is a church. You do see that engraved in common. It reads, "Kneel before Lathander, the Morning Lord." And as you look upon that, you also see that there is a lever on the wall next to them that has been snapped off. There is a piece of the lever uh, still jutted out. That's interesting. Sequessa. Um, also, if you could roll another investigation. Sure. While you're there. Mm, that's a good roll. Let's see what my negative is. <laughs> <laughs> I like how it's just my negative, not yeah, just no, that's the modifier. Minus one, but the good news is that it's still an 18. Nice. Uh, as you're looking around and trying to think of, well, maybe there's some sort of way to get through this door, you do notice that under a pile of uh, uh, cinder from burnt areas, uh, you see a um, burned but intact uh, charred uh, 
book uh, that is uh, leather bound and um, got like the belt loop through it, locking it, holding it. Not charred at all? Nope. I'm going to bend over, pick it up, kind of dust off the soot, look down. Uh, can I read any title? Is there any? Yeah, it is. A, it's a journal. It's easy to open up. And you see that this is the journal of Father Bracken. And inside, um, you see that as you go through it, there are previous dates and reflections on the teachings of Lathander. Uh, but the final page reads about townsfolk forming an excavation group to expand the crypts to accommodate more people. That the far end has always looked like a collapsed section of tunnel, and this would be a good spot to start clearing and expanding. And he is impressed by the sudden large number of interested volunteers. They were excavating out the, the graves. You mean like, like opening them? No, well, I mean, like they, were, they were trying to expand out how many people they could fit, but they what found they found ruins and they started peeling it apart. I'm, not, I'm sure that they were torn down walls for a reason. But why all of a sudden? I, I don't know. The more, the more interesting thing is uh, apparently a lot of people started volunteering for this. Yeah, and, suddenly. Uh, what? Well, that's the weird part. Yeah. yeah. Bad shit always happens when people try to dig deeper. Right. I right. mean, but, it, if those but, tombs and everything were behind what I'm assuming is this sacred door, I, I mean, I guess we have to try to get behind there. Uh, lever snapped I, off, though. I, I'm, I'm sorry. At the mention of that, she's going to search, Arlen's going to search for per- perhaps another piece of the lever. Okay. Do you There's need- the one right here that's broken off. Do you need help getting in? I'm sorry. Do you need help getting in the door? I have a spell for that. I can get you in the door. Luna hands her more mint to chew oh, thank on. thank you, Luna. <laughs> Bless you. And starts let's, chewing on some themselves. Let, let me give a shot pushing on this shard really quickly. There's a little bit still sticking out. So All right. Let, let uh, me, right, let me know. Jack, if you would. Strength, right? Yes. I'd assume. <laughs> This news is I'm a thick boy, so <laughs> that is a terrible roll, though. So that's a five. <laughs> it's odd. all right as as you fight, <laughs> and um, you maneuver. You know, you're you try to get your weight underneath the, you know, to both of your knees now are onto the floor. You hear. Um, can everyone make a dexterity saving throw, please? Uh, <laughs> or, gonna go you, do you want that in D and D, Beyond? You want no, that? No, you regularly. Okay. <laughs> Dex saving. That's a nineteen. Fourteen. Okay. Twenty-two. But I'm at the doorway throwing up. Am I even near there? Don't worry. The whole <laughs> floor opened up. <laughs> Cute. Thirteen. No. Oh. I got a 22. Uh, so. Negative two, because I rolled a one. <laughs> For those oh, of you who have rolled underneath, uh, under a DC of 15, I'll let you know what happens. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. It's the fucking death house all over again. God damn it. It really does feel like that, doesn't it? At <laughs> least you have wings. Up, <laughs> <laughs> Try you best. To I miss the fungeon. <laughs> really. Welcome to the brand new podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Come god! If he turns out to be a I see heard your complaint. Up up. It's just going to be a trampoline underneath. <laughs> 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 the it's, all, it's always the last motherfucker you'll expect. Ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> he approved upon your complaints, guys. He turned no, me so many bad Yelp reviews. I read through each one one by one. <laughs> and I got Actually, more enraged each time. <laughs> We have been in the Kill dungeon people. the okay. whole time. <laughs> so, uh, for those of you who didn't get above 15, um, you are going to be taking... Oh, God. Let's find out, shall we? A trip to sunny San Diego. <laughs> I like that very much. Much more than what he's going to say. <laughs> uh, you never know. There might be sand. It's going to be uh, a 1d6 plus 2. 
Okay, oh, okay. Right. it can't kill one, me immediately. Roll a one. Roll a one. Three points. Roll a one. <laughs> Uh, three points of uh, damage as you slide basically down this stairwell that is covered in blood, um, crashing into a pile of bones uh, with, that have been uh, that are jutting out upwards a bit from the pile. So that's going to hurt. Alaka floats down because he would have like put out his feathers. <laughs> Your foot slips on the blood from the first stair, and you fall, sliding down the stairs into darkness. You see the bottom fast approaching, and the landing heaped with bodies, bloody, jagged spears of bone jutting from the top of them in your direction. You barely have time to react as you land on them, a spike of jagged bone impaling your leg and the stench of rotting flesh overpowering your nostrils once more. Only then you notice the bodies crawling with maggots, and you quickly push yourself off. 